So hello, my name's Rob. This is Cattle Rabbit Scale Model Studios. And today I'm gonna to show you how to paint pale white armor. This is fantastic for death guard, um, like the pallid hand, or if you do a much neater version of this, there's no reason why you couldn't use this method for something like um, death wing. But this is the color that we're talking about, this lovely, gross, sickly, pale color. Um, if you are interested in how I did skin, I will link the video now. Um, but it's really, really easy to do. And a lot of people ask me how I did it, especially over on Instagram. Um, and there's not a lot to it. It is super, super easy to do. Um, you don't need many colors and it gives a great effect. So I'm gonna talk you through how I did it and um, let's get going. So the first thing we need to do is prime our miniature. I've done all mine um, in uh, Wraithbone um, from Citadel and I have kept the arms and the backpack separate. This is just later on so I can't, um, I'm not obscured by any uh, pieces or can't get to any detail. I just find it easier to work like this um, and you do kind of get used to it but I will assemble absolutely everything at the end um, once everything's been painted. Now the first step is to get some pallid witch flesh and what we're going to do is we're going to dry brush the miniature. We're just going to gently run it back and forth over all the parts just to lighten the middle bits. We don't want to completely cover the miniature, we just want to kind of make the raised bits stand out a little bit more. Um, this is the start of the transition of blending that those kind of recesses into that cream because the wraith bone will still be showing. Next up it's a recess shade. Now if you don't know what a recess shade is, it's where you focus um, on the grooves and the depressions of a model to kind of bring focus to that. It's not an all over wash, but it's kind of like a concentrated wash. This step can be a bit time consuming. And all I'm doing here is I'm getting some Lamia Medium on my brush. I think that was three brushfuls of Lamia Medium. And I think I'm gonna do the same of Seraphim Sepia. Um, this is just to make sure that it's not as stark, um, but you can still see the the lines and it will still pull and it will settle but it won't be as a, a you know a really i guess deep color it kind of fades out and blends quite nicely so making sure that i haven't got too much on my brush all i'm going to do and you'll see here things like these little pits and dips in the armor and you must excuse me i do have a camera slightly in the way um, i'm just going to touch in like that then along the bottom here and this is what I mean by a recess shade. I'm not painting all over everything. I'm just painting in the grooves and things like that. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to work my way around the model. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of a time lapse so you can see. And uh, yeah, all I'm going to do is make sure everything's just got a nice kind of covering and uh, I'm quite happy with it all. Uh, while this is playing, I do just want to take a quick 10 seconds out of this video just to say thank you to everyone that supported me so far. Um, really does mean a lot. Um, YouTube something that's been a massive challenge for me. It's a completely different form of media and I'm useless with computers. So I do thank you all for supporting me with likes, comments and just views. Um, it really does mean the world to this little gonzo YouTuber. Um, but back to the video now. Um, I'm nearly done with this section and we're left with this. Now, if you wanted to, you could probably stop here. Um, everything's quite, I guess, disgusting looking. And I think that's where the yellow blends together. However, what you can do um, with little bits here, like uh, I've got, is you can get some pallid witch flesh, make like a little tiny bit of a glaze. I'm gonna use a dry brush here but I'm just gonna flick it back and forth. And what this is gonna help them to do is anywhere that I've splodged, uh, this will help just neaten up those areas because we're taking it back to Pallid Witch. And this is one of the benefits of doing a recess shade and not an all over shade, is that we don't actually have to tidy up that much. Next, all I'm gonna do is white scar, and I'm gonna work this way all around like the edges, uh, all around the little dips and things like that, and just generally highlight 
um, really those gross little areas. So things like here, I'm just going to very gently just run it round that. Along the edge of the armor panel here and things like that. And all it's going to do is really make those kind of really yucky bits stand out even more because we're going lighter around it. So it's actually making it a little bit darker. Once again, here's a little time lapse of me just working around the model. Um, this guy wasn't too bad actually, not too many edges, just on the knee pad and things like that. But I just worked my way around, um, taking my time. I put a movie on in the background, I think, and didn't take that long at all. Next up, this is where the fun really starts, Scrag Brown. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get a little bit on my palette and using um, some water, I'm gonna water this right down. This is gonna give us a good kind of really fine looking where dirt, grimes accumulated. Um, it's just a really good way of building out that that sepia wash that we put in earlier and really making it you know sections stand out and what I mean is same again so this little pit here so you're making sure that your brush isn't overloaded I'm just going to run some into those little dips here and then things like um, here and there's also kind of like where know, dirt and rust would collect just along there and it, what this will do is just kind of really enhance and deepen that that kind of recess and define these white armor panels. The problem is with white is because it's hard to put sometimes a lot of detail into it because it's such a light color. But doing it this way, we're actually reverse doing it because we're going darker. Um, here you can see that I've, I've ran a little drip down uh, the, the little pitting there. Um, and here you can just be as, I guess, nasty as you want. These are Death Guard models. You know, they're supposed to be grim and grimy and that's all there really is to it. As you can see, that's what we're left with. Um, I think it looks absolutely great. You could probably skip the scrag bound step and you know, paint a really nice death wing kind of armor on a Terminator. Or do you know what? You could add some Agrax, you could add some greens, you could really go gross and go full on uh, Nurgle with this. But it's great fun to do. It, surprisingly, it doesn't take that long and being Death Guard models, they're supposed to be a little bit gross. So if you do splodge, there's a lot of kind of uh, forgiving with making mistakes. But there we go. And if you're interested in seeing how the full marine turned out with all the colors, then I'll leave a link to my Instagram in the description below. But that's it for me. I do hope that helped. I'll see you all next time. God bless and take care.